I would say one thing to you, Judge, and that's you're never going to solve this problem on the supply side. As long as that demand is out there in our cities, Mexico bashing is not going to do a damn thing for you. We in the legal drug business, and I mean Merck and Pfizer and the rest of my very important clients, realize that we're not fighting a war here with a traditional winner and loser. I don't know that you can win this war. I mean, everybody says we want to declare war on drugs, but, you know, if you have 25% of high school seniors are using drugs, if you reduce that to 10, that's a great improvement. Right. And I'll congratulate you. That would be a phenomenal achievement. But you still have 10% habitually using drugs. I guess scotch and soda, please. The price of Coke and heroin has dropped. But purity has increased, so all this law enforcement has really achieved is that kids get better stuff cheaper. Education and rehabilitation, prevention, that's not significant to these reporters. Mm -hmm. They want to see people in prison. They want to see the gory aspect of the drug Thank problem. you so much for sharing your point of view, and I look forward yeah. to this opportunity working with you. Well, call me, because I have a good bill on treatment on demand. I could use your help. Wonderful. I look forward okay. to it. Okay. Thanks, Senator. If a judge or if a politician is willing to put a reefer in their mouth, I'll do a story on it. Right. Stand up and be independent, because I don't care who's president, I don't care who the members of Congress are, I don't care who you have to deal with. If you're independent, right. and you use that bully pulpit right. Right. That's where your power is. It's the stick of law enforcement that creates the carrot of huge profit that is economic truth. Addicts don't.